The Honorable Prime Minister, His Excellency the Governor of Maharashtra, the Honorable Chief Minister, the Governor of the Reserve Bank, Dr. Rajan, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a privilege to be associated with this landmark occasion in the history of the Reserve Bank. 80 years in the life of an institution like the Reserve Bank has brought in an inbuilt institutional maturity and experience in the institution. Starting from 1935 till today, a very large part of India's sovereign functions rest on the shoulders of the Reserve Bank. From management of India's monetary policy, inflation management, management of the rates itself, as a regulator of the banking system, management of the public debt. These are amongst the functions with which Reserve Bank has undertaken this 80-year journey and performed this journey in a commendable manner. Let me take this opportunity to compliment and congratulate the Governor, Dr. Rajan, the entire team of the Reserve Bank, and all his uh, very eminent predecessors that he named, amongst others, and their team workers who succeeded in establishing this great institution. It is the professionalism and the ability of the central bank, which has indeed uh, served this country and served it well, we are indeed proud of its performance. I'm extremely glad that you've taken up financial inclusion as an important theme for today's function at the film that you just showed demonstrated. The effort of the government has been, through various policy announcements in the last 10 years, to have a concerted, all-around approach as far as the development of the country is concerned. If I were to put in a nutshell, we've opened our doors for investment. We are trying to ensure that as many people, both within and outside, invest in this country. We are trying to restore the credibility of both the Indian economy and the decision-making process of the Indian economy. We are trying to ease various processes and procedures. I did not repeat every step that we've taken. We are trying to rationalize our taxation structures, make them more and more non-adversarial, and make some landmark changes, both in the indirect tax system as also in the direct tax system. Some of these ideas were outlined in the budget presented recently. In the coming days, I am looking forward anxiously to one of the most important uh, constitutional amendments with regard to the goods and services tax being cleared by Indian Parliament. We are trying to ensure that sectors like manufacturing, agriculture, infrastructure, are amongst those which now start benefiting from the decision-making process. But there's always a danger that some may get left out. And that is why the advantage of this entire change must also go to them. The Mudra Initiative, which is going to be unveiled by the Honorable Prime Minister on the 8th of April, is going to be taken up in a mission mold, almost similar to the manner in which the Pradhan Mantri Janadhan Yojana was taken up. 
so that the unfunded in this country can also be funded by that initiative. The Janadhan campaign has been a tremendous success. Millions and millions of people have been joined to the banking system. The entire credit for this almost goes to the various banking institutions of India and its employees. They've literally brought in a significant change where they treated an individual unit and therefore approached almost every family in this country. And more than 99% of the families that they approached agreed to be joined to the banking system. Some percentage of them also put in their money into these accounts. The ongoing challenge before the government is, and that's a challenge also for the banking system, that these accounts now become operational. And therefore, from the old schemes of the government, from the direct benefit transfers which have started uh, with regard to the LPG subsidies from the 1st of January this year, monies are now being transferred to the bank account. Some are also being transferred to these bank accounts which have operationalized. The next phase of the challenge is to provide a certain amount of social security to the holders of these accounts. And therefore, the next initiative in terms of uh, an accident insurance, in terms of a life insurance, in terms of attractive pension schemes, to these underprivileged sections, with the support uh, of public exchequer and the banking system, as also other insurance institutions, has been opened out to these people. Hopefully, we are working on uh, modified healthcare schemes. Test of these 80 years has still a very important and a very powerful role to play in this. The RBI on various issues has always been in very constructive dialogue with the government. And I have not the least doubt that as the Indian economy picks up further to serve every section of society, we may yet see another best in the performance of the RBI. I wish the RBI and all its uh, staff members the very best on this occasion. Thank you.